What you see behind me is 40 years of conservation efforts in San Luis Obispo County. I'm Dylan Foreman, your community reporter in San Luis Obispo, where the Land Conservancy of San Luis Obispo is celebrating 40 years of existence and a strong presence of both the city and the county. Established in 1984, the nonprofit Land Conservancy has been solely responsible for 67,000 acres of conserved land throughout the county. Um, more than twice the size of the city of San Francisco. Um, yeah, so we've, we've protected a lot of land and it's not just the acreage that's important, it's the place, the actual places that we're protecting, right? Through land easements or agreements with private owners or outright purchased through grants and donation funds, the Conservancy along with the City of San Luis Obispo have encircled the area, as you can see from this map, showing the variety of open space areas that have been conserved. It's nice to see that balance and you can kind of see it interspersed amongst the what is designated as the green belt, but there's more work to do. The Harold Miosi Charitable Trust has been one of the sources of income and since 2011 has donated over $1.1 million to the Land Conservancy, according to their trustee, Howard Carroll. And as development occurs, responsible development that doesn't infringe on these areas is critical to us and our families and our children and their children. But it hasn't just been one entity responsible for the conservation of open spaces. It's because the owners uh, recognize the beauty of them and the value of them to the public. Owners like uh, Jeff Buckingham, who as a student at Cal Poly in the 70s, dreamed of owning a 540-acre property off Turry Road between Morro Bay and Los Osos. And I stopped in front of our ranch, and what is now today our ranch, and looked around and thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to have a piece of this property and just keep it this way forever? And in 1997, achieving that dream to later then have an easement with the Land Conservancy that preserves the natural area of Buckingham's property. For all time, anybody else who drives down Turry Road, that section of that road will pretty much look that way forever. It's really rewarding work. You know, it's, it's, um, and there's so much behind the scenes. You know, it's pretty incredible what it actually takes to do this. I'll be following up with the Land Conservancy and the City of San Luis Obispo as to what lies ahead for open space and the Green Belt. But Detman did tell me that they are identifying areas right now in both the Edna Valley and Los Osos Valley for possible open space. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Dylan Foreman, KSBY News.